<clears throat> Howdy. So, this is my cigar box ukulele. I ended up, I did the V, or like the cutaway thing here, because the only tuners I had left were the ones that go on this side. And then I had this other tuner that came off of my uh, classical. I bought uh, some new tuners for that, ended up cutting up those to use on my first cigar box guitar. And, um,. Yeah, it turned out pretty well. I think it looks cool. You know, with the... Looks all rock and roll kind of stuff. But... Let me get back here. See, this is my ukulele. And... <clears throat> the neck is poplar. And the fretboard and the little bridge piece here are uh, red oak. And these little plastic pieces here, like this one and this one here, are uh, computer case plastic. And these are actually real frets. I bought these at CB Giddy and um, used a little handsaw to cut those slots and put those in there. And um, my first time doing that, I was worried about it turning out right, but I think it turned out okay. But, yeah, and, you know, it plays all right. I think I need to do a little bit of work on the on the nut. Maybe make those slots a little bit deeper. I don't know if you can even see that. But it's a little bit high. The action's a little bit high. So chords that use this first fret, it ends up stretching the string a little bit. And it goes just a little bit sharp. It does better on chords that don't use the first fret. But I'll do that at some point. And these little holes right here, I was going to do some F cuts, but I uh, wasn't really confident in my ability to get those right. So I used, actually, I used you know, just a straight edge. You know, held it up here and made some lines coming down. So I'd get just on the outside of the neck. The neck goes all the way through here. And, oh yeah. I use this. This is a hard drive platter from a laptop hard drive. And took it apart to get the uh, magnets out. I like to take those magnets out of there. Oh, you can see my computer screen in there. You can see me, hey. There I am. <laughs> but, yeah, and this worked out real well. It was, it was the perfect shape and size. And you know, I, did, I wanted to get them, you know, the, the uh, oh yeah, little half moon shapes. And, uh, yeah, that's just from, you know, setting this on there and then using a pencil to go around it. Then I cut it out with a Dremel tool, a little, little cutting disc, and I use sandpaper to get uh, get them a little more even. Then I could get them with that cutting disc. And yeah, I think it turned out well. I use a little fork there. That's a little little kid's fork. Um, my daughter got very upset with me because I used the one. It was one of her princess forks. She was very upset that I used this for it. Because I should have used one of the ones that were just pink or blue or something else, but not the princess one. Well, next time I'll know. But. It sounds pretty good. Like I said, it needs, it needs a little bit of work on the nut. 
I just don't want to take the strings off right now. I really don't. But, um... Yeah, worked out. Gonna make another one pretty soon. We'll see. Yeah. Let's see if I can play just a little bit of a song on here right now. I like the way the sparkling earrings lay against your skin so brown. And I want to sleep with you in the desert tonight with a billion stars all around. As I get a peaceful, easy feeling. Now, and I know you won't let me down. <laughs> yeah. Sounds all right. Sounds all right. I need to make some more, I think. Need to get the pencil marks off of here too. Maybe clean up these frets a little bit. So yeah, I've got a little more work to do on it, but I think it's I think it's pretty decent. And this is the, you know the, this is how I got into cigar a cigar box instruments was I wanted to make a cigar box ukulele. And you know I got over there and I started looking and decided to go ahead and make some guitars and you know those are fun, but. Uh, Ukulele is more fun, I think. I don't know. Well, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good one.